a new season. The coaches uh, expect you guys to do well and uh, make the conference tournament. It has to feel good. Getting uh, some respect, but at the same time, it's not until you guys get on the court and start uh, getting results. So, uh, what are your expectations uh, uh, for this season? Um, our expectations for this season are, are high, and um, I wasn't too surprised with how the poll came out. Um, but you know, I I don't really take it very seriously at all because who really knows what anyone's going to be about at this point in the year it's a lot based on last year's standings but based on and 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 what they know we all know a little bit about our team who's teams who's graduating who's returning and this and that you know but um my expectations are high for this season because we have a veteran group of girls and we at this point in the season are have remained healthy i think we're a fit group of girls I think we're a highly motivated team with good leadership and a lot to prove. And like I said, five seniors who want to finish their career at Humboldt State on a high note. We also accompany them with some solid juniors, some young, up, you know, younger girls, some freshmen, and some transfers, and just returning younger girls that are have worked really, really hard in the off season and, and remained um, fit and and worked really hard as well during the summer and have come back ready. And um, it's just a very uni unified group that is highly motivated. Our expectations are certainly to get to the post postseason um, conference tournament is in our sights, and we expect to be there come November. Talk to Simone. Uh, you know, the last couple of years, you guys have come really close, mm -hmm. getting the experience of postseason play. Mm -hmm. um, with that senior leadership, just what has gone on in the off season, bringing in players, uh, do you do you feel like that you can reach that goal? We all feel like we can reach that goal, and we began talking about our goals and how things were going to change and how things were going to be different even last spring season. And we did. You're right. That we had we've had some close calls. We we've, we've got two years ago we were a win away from from potentially making it to the regionals for the first time in HSU history, and potentially that may have gotten to us a little bit. We didn't we we didn't really perform in our final match at home, um, but those girls have been through that and have have felt the heartache and have been through, you know, some of the, the, the tough times that we've had in these last couple of years as a team. Um, and I and I know that's motivating them. And I know in particular this group of seniors, there's five of them, they they are all on the same page as far as what they want to accomplish this season. And yes, I do believe we have the ability and, um, and the motivation and the leadership and all the things necessary to get to that postseason. Unfortunately, injuries do happen last year. Um, you know, you had some key players that yeah. were Long-term injuries, injuries getting banged up, yeah, affecting your, you know your guys' play. Um, do you feel like hopefully there's no injuries this season? But they are that there's other players you know that can fill those holes. Yeah, I mean, we already had a couple things go happen in double day. We had some sickness. We had you know a knee a knee injury. Um, she will be returning from, but that was on day one actually. Monday we lost two of our key players, and we had five days of double days um, and it was very successful and competitive and we definitely have more depth this season um, in fact we've even been a little bit surprised that some of our new girls they're better than what we even expected them to be which has been great our two, we have two freshmen Odelia Ryan and Lauren Reed who are you know big part big part of our practice success you know they're they're able to get out there they're they're catching it there there's always going to be a transition period between your high school season um, moving from high school to division two volleyball there's a transition but they are catching on really really fast and um, they potentially could be out there on the court and I think helping our teams be successful which is hard to do as a freshman in this conference and then we have two JC transfers as well who are Big contributors, Janelle Ayala, middle blocker out of Grossmont, and Sarah Shively, Libero, all state Libero from Sierra College, who is stepping up big. She's going to be very good. And um, so our newcomers are fitting in really, really well. And um, yeah, the depth is making a huge difference. In the, in, I mean, even yesterday, our practice, Monday, I was telling the team, you know, this is, com you guys are battling out there. At the end of practice, we sit around, we chat for a little bit, and talk about what we need to do better and what, what went well and all that, all that stuff. But, um, it was fun to watch. It's fun to come into practice, and it's fun watching, especially that last hour when we're just competing. And um, they all know that they have a shot, you know, that they could be out there, and um, that it's a thin line, you know. So um, it's fun going to practice and watching the comp the competition in the practice setting. Um, of the newcomers, is there one or two that just stand out that you feel like is going to contribute, you know, 
middle, right, right from the start. Well, Sarah Shively is going to contribute right from the start. She's got the libero spot right now, um, and she's very solid. Like I said, all-state uh, junior college transfer from Sierra College, who was we had a, comp, a libero of the year two years ago from Sierra College as well, and Haley Biles. Um, so she's following in her footsteps, but she's just a really, really good server seat passer. She's got a high volleyball IQ. She's a great defender, good little server, and uh, she's definitely going to step in and contribute immediately for us. Um, you guys uh, opening up at that, uh, the Route 92 tournament uh, in Hayward, uh, playing a, you know, Academy, uh, Notre Dame, two ma you know, two matches, two days, two matches, uh, the following days of four. Four matches. Uh, two, two days, days because I'm sure you just uh, you get that out of, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, I mean, so the, the, right off the bat, after two days, you're going to get a really good feel of just what your team's all about. Yeah, week. you know, we can't wait for this weekend. We have a couple more practices, and then we're getting out of town, and we're going to go down and play against some teams within our region, which is always good to play in region teams in the, in the preseason. Um, teams that traditionally have not been, you know, the top of their conference, um, but are competitive and, and you know, good, co well coached teams, and um, so we're absolutely looking forward to getting down there, gaining confidence, getting a couple of wins, hopefully, hopefully four of them, and um, coming back here and you know, knowing a little bit more about ourselves and where we need to go um, from there, because we have a very tough weekend coming up right after, immediately right after, heading down to LA. So, looking forward to getting down there and, and you know, playing some ball and getting. Some a bunch of girls in the game we're hoping you know to get a lot of girls some experience and um, like I said come back next week and see where we need to go from there.